Our way of life tends to be fragmented. Our intellects, feelings, and bodily awareness are separated from each other. Somehow we must get back into total integrated being. We're exploring these possibilities of Claremont. Good evening, I'm Ken Cavanaugh. In the age of Aquarius, we're told we should make the world a better place by communicating with each other. And so this is also becoming the age of the sensitivity group of the so-called human potential movement. Believers in sensitivity training feel that the pressures of urban life have made us too well adjusted, too tight and too controlled. We have to learn awareness through touching, talking, feeling and seeing. They've developed a kind of group therapy for people who aren't really sick. And more and more ordinary people are participating. Teachers, housewives, and businessmen. Many feel these sessions have completely changed their lives. But some psychiatrists mistrust the groups and question the long-term value. Anyway, the movement is growing rapidly. This film tonight, directed for Telescope by Colin Smith, is simply an impression of what a sensitivity session looks like and a profile of the founder of a Toronto group called the Claremont Experiment. Anna Palohaimo is a pioneer in this field in Canada, the mother of two sons. She spent many years working in creative drama with young people and finally decided to extend her ideas and apply them to adults. We somehow must get back, particularly we urban people, we must get back into, uh, into uh, touch with nature and touch with each other. Getting in touch then, communicating, is our aim on Telescope tonight. We are alienated from each other. And our society is based on non-touch rules and regulations. And we might say to each other, keep in touch but we don't really mean it. The group activity is simply getting into touch with each other and stimulating each other through thinking, feeling, and experiencing. Uh, the group comes in with uh, perhaps some hostility, with great mistrust, and before an evening is over, uh, openness has developed. I can afford to reach out my hand to a total stranger. The boys have developed this very exciting concept for our school. And last week they had a meeting with the school registrar uh, about registration for it. How did it go? Um, well, we talked we talked to him and he um he was, was sort of sort of cold. I suppose like any mother, I feel that my kids are special. Uh, Rolf has changed a great deal in the last year. He has decided, in a sense, to be on his own and find himself. Uh, he's got interested not only from experiential point of view, but intellectual point of view in, um, in, in creativity and the whole of human potential movement. Mm -hmm. Now, I think he's had a lot of people are starting schools now, and he's had a lot of um, uh, interviews from, for people. Uh, Marty was 13. He, I feel, is a, is a sort of result of a creative approach to education and very much man to himself already at 13. They, they would make a real fuss over the bylaws while in the city. Like, there's so many things in the city that they, you know, they don't care that much as much as they do in the country. And criticizes me a great deal about my work with sound, constructive criticism. And I appreciate his 
is uh, doing so. So he does have his own initiative. And he doesn't have to necessarily hold a teacher's certificate mm -hmm. to teach. He just has to be know something about Chinese, uh, Chinese history. Yeah, and be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> toward um, a personal rhythm. People to be more with themselves, with their, with their body. This training is good for everybody. We have people, office workers. We have uh, construction men. We have engineers, architects. People who are aware enough to know that something is wrong with their awareness. They don't quite know what is wrong with their awareness. But they are searching to find more out about life than they are finding. And therefore they come here and they find, uh, first of all, what makes them tick. And then they learn to use their potential. And they learn to take joy in simple things. People are never forced to do what they don't want to do. I think Claremont is perhaps a place where allowing is stressed. You are allowed to be alone if you want to be alone. You are allowed to close up if you want to close up. You are allowed to be what, whatever you want to be, but the environment is created in which you can open up if you want to open up. and nudity, I suppose, are the main criticisms of uh, the whole movement. You become very easily attracted to, uh, to a person when you come to a close contact. But in the group, I have a tendency of making people aware of the fact that perhaps the relationships that they develop may not be lasting ones, and that our business here is not to find sex partners, but to be open on a sensory level. Some of the things that uh, we get involved in here is painting, using very simple art materials, poster paints, the kind of stuff that children use in the kindergarten. And uh, the colors are as joyous and, and happy. And uh, uh, we use these paintings not only as an expression of, uh, of our feelings of joy, but also to find out more about ourselves. Uh, for instance, there was a painting here where a man is in the pot and there are natives dancing around it. He later on worked out himself out of the pot and, and, and got over a block that he had. Um, they, they have a great deal of meaning. Painting is, is one way of expressing the creative potential. Poetry is another. I am a very hard acorn newly fallen from a high place with long memories of a wondrous face. On the warm, wet earth, I begin to break my pale, tight flesh to sprout from my dark shell. Green wings to return to my lost place in the sun. Sun, hold your face in warm hand. May I be the sun. Making 
bread is for me a, a creative act. Captain Spurs in a place of doing clay work or some art. I have a feeling that whatever I make with my hands, it should be something that we can really use. And, and I guess bread is most usable thing. I value bread, I suppose, but because I was brought up in Finland during the war. And uh, I learned to uh, take care of good things like bread. We're all born with the rhythm of being, rhythm of movement, rhythm of laughter, rhythm of talking, rhythm of being silent. And most people somehow have lost that rhythm. Uh, gearing their existence to the outside forces rather than to that inner core that can be a, a real stronghold in all of our actions. It's difficult for me to convince you what this new experience would be like. But I can only say it's like discovering a secret that is going to be something very exciting and it's really worthwhile trying. We'll continue this experiment in touch, sight, sound and feeling after we attempt another kind of communication. Uh, we've got some new exciting plans for us. Building a central behind the barn there with two units which I.